if you guys don't want to use the same stock image as everybody else or if your product doesn't have a good product picture like if you're not able to get one from your supplier with a nice solid white backdrop then i would suggest you guys take your own images so let me go ahead and show you how to take a professional quality images with a white backdrop So this is the setup which consists of two lights, a table, and a backdrop. Let's start with the backdrop. Now this will depend on the size of your product. I'll be using a Daredevil Funko Pop, so I'll only be needing two pieces of paper. Keep in mind that if your product is bigger, you'll be using more paper. Next, just tape them together just down the middle and grab a book. We're going to be using the book for support. And the reason we tape the paper is so we could get this nice little curve here, which helps smooth things out for when we edit. Now let's go ahead and talk about the lights. So for my setup, it consists of two lights, one here and then the other one down here. This one up here is to light the top of the product and the background. And because we have a curved backdrop, the background is evenly lit. If we see the product from the front, we see that the background is lit and so is the top, but the front is darker and we have some shadow down here. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab a light and as soon as I turn it on, you'll see that the shadows will disappear. Now, if you still have some shadow, uh, go ahead and grab another light. But if you have very minimal shadows, and it's okay, that would work. Uh, you don't need to go ahead and grab another light. Keep in mind that if you put your lights too close to the product or they're too bright, you'll end up washing out the image and you'll lose a lot of detail. By the way, guys, you don't need to have any professional lighting equipment. You can do this with lamps. Just make sure that you use white light bulbs. The reason I have this equipment is, well, the reason I'm using it is because I have it, so uh, might as well use it. Then just go ahead, take your pictures. I usually use a camera, but in this case, I'm gonna be using my phone just to show you guys that you don't need to have a camera to take good pictures. And you wanna go ahead and get about this close to the product just make sure that everything is visible and uh, stay within or make sure your product stays within the white. Uh, don't worry about the sides. We're going to be editing that out. So I've gone ahead and taken the pictures here. I have three different examples. This first one is what happens when the lamps are too close or when your lights are too bright. You have this kind of a washed out look. Obviously, you want to stay away from this. We lose a lot of detail. As you see here on the sides, there's some distortion. And then we go along the edges of the product you see that it, there's no detail. Like here, this is basically gone. Uh, we lose some, or we get some weird colors over here and we lose detail here, here, and the corners on the sides. So you wanna make sure that you properly light it and don't get the lights too close to the product. Also make sure that they're not to their full brightness because you do not want your product to look washed out. Even though the background is perfectly white, your product looks horrible. Now in this next example, this is what happens when your light is too dim. Or in other words, when you only have one light source and don't properly light the picture, you have the shadow, you really can make up the detail here. Obviously you could come in here and bring up the exposure but you start losing a little bit of detail here on the side. And obviously you don't want this. Uh, you also start losing a little bit of detail here and you basically don't wanna do this. You wanna avoid this. So properly light your picture, make sure that everything is visible when you take it or before you take it. So this is the picture that only has one light source, which is the one on top, which is that light, uh, the big light box that you saw on top of it, just aiming down to the product towards the product, I mean. And then this one is with both the lights turned on. You see there's no shadow here, or there's a little bit of shadow, but it's not that harsh as opposed to here. So you guys could see right away. Also, uh, we keep every detail on the sticks. And then same here. You see there was, an, there was not much we need to do with this, or there isn't much we need to do with this one, as opposed to this one. If we bring up the exposure, we do get the nice color. Uh, backdrop, but we lose a little bit of detail on the sides and this this is without doing anything to it This is straight out of the camera. So this is what you want to do You want to perfectly or, or properly light your product before you take the image now Let's go ahead and edit it and for that we're gonna open up Photoshop if you guys are unfamiliar with it You know there I can't really do much just watch a couple videos on it I'm not gonna make a tutorial about Photoshop because it's just too long I mean I might add it to the YouTube channel, but honestly, it's really really extensive Photoshop is this huge program It's better if you guys already know a little bit about it If not you could go on YouTube watch some videos uh, get the free trial. It's 30 days free You guys could use those 30 days to edit the images and after that you could pay $20 a month just to have Photoshop So we're gonna go ahead and edit it now, I told you guys during the recording or during when I was showing you guys the setup to not worry about this side and this side because we're going to go ahead and color it in. So let me show you guys exactly how to do that. Uh, first of all, 
we're gonna go ahead and unlock this. Let's just go ahead and duplicate this so we have this in the background, just in case we mess up. All right, the first thing we wanna do is go to adjustment, bring up the brightness. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing this just to give it a little bit or bring up, make that white pop a little bit, I should say. So uh, we still have the colors still look good. Uh, there is no distortion. There's no loss of detail. Everything looks good. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of white on the sides. All right. So obviously this is not the only way to do it. I could just make the backdrop white. But just to show you guys really quickly, let's make this a little bit bigger. Now you do see, or I'm pretty sure you guys could still see that it's not perfectly white. The background, the background is not perfectly white. So we're gonna go ahead and use this tool right here, the quick selection tool. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. If I can't even see it, there we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the product or the figure, making sure that everything is selected. Making sure I don't miss a spot. Let's see. So what you want to do is you want to go along the sides, to zoom in and make sure that every little part is highlighted or selected. Uh, once you make sure that everything is properly selected, let me see this little, there you go. Then what you want to do is just zoom back out, select inverse, and then we're just going to delete the rest. Oop, wrong one. Okay. And then we could just go ahead and add a solid color. So let's go ahead and bring this layer back here. And now as we see here, we have a perfect back white drop. We have our image. We can go ahead and move it around. Oh, why does it keep selecting it? Okay, we could go ahead and move it around. We could resize it. Here we go. We have a perfect product image. There's not much to it, guys. It's just that. Make sure that you properly light the background and then just follow this when you're in Photoshop. It shouldn't be very difficult at all. Well, it shouldn't be difficult at all. If you guys are following me, it's very simple to take these images. Uh, just make sure, again, it's very important that you light properly or you properly light your product because if your lights are too bright, you're gonna end up with a washed out image. And if your uh, lights are too dim or you don't light it properly, you're going to end up with a lot of shadows and it's going to make you bring the exposure up and you're going to lose detail on the image so make sure you properly light the product mm -hmm.